Hello, um, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about polarization and when you take photographs of your artwork how to eliminate the glare that you see on your painting, especially if you're painting either behind glass or uh, an oil painting such as this. So stick with me for a few minutes and I'll show you the whole process that I use to eliminate that altogether. It's just like magic. Okay, so now that I got my camera in hand, I'm going to show you. Here's my bank of lights that I use, both in painting and in photography. These are all um, fluorescent style bulbs, so that it saves me quite a bit of money as far as energy is concerned. I also have a couple of um, just standard, let's see if this thing will focus up, standard halogen bulb shop lamps. Now what you, the contraptions you see on top are simply a box with a film over top of the box. I also have a film that's in between two sheets of Lexane or plexiglass. And that film is a polarization film that they make like polarized sunglasses from. And the manufacturer, let's see if this will focus in. Hopefully you get, there you go. Is this company, comes in a tube. I would recommend that you um, just buy the educational quality film because it is a lot cheaper than the scientific grade film that they use for sunglasses and things of that nature. All right, let me get my camera set up one more time and show you exactly how all this works together. Okay, we're back. And what you see here is the uh, filter on top of those, uh, that light bank. And also I have my two halogens on they're really really bright really hot you'll notice to the overall t light in the studio is considerably darker but um, it just forces you to use a tripod so let me get the thing on the tripod and I'll show you what the next step is okay and I have my camera set up on my tripod and as you can see it's got quite a bit of glare in it oh just just a something popped into my head. This is called a, uh, a linear polarizing film, not as opposed to circular, circular polarizing film. Uh, maybe they don't even make that, I don't know, but this is a, a linear film. It's also a uh, linear polarizer as opposed to a circular polarizer that's on the camera. So you have two filters, one from the light source and one on your camera. So now here's where Harry Potter steps in and waves his magic wand and I'm going to rotate this filter and you will see the effectiveness of using a, pol um, a linear polarizer. Voila. As I continue to rotate that glare will then come back into the photograph. Now if you were to use a linear polarizing film on your light source and then come back and put a circular polarizer on your camera you will get almost the same effect but it will be a smaller window that it eliminates most of the reflections. Uh, I found that the linear polarizer works a whole lot better and you just you just definitely get a much better um, range of elimination of the uh, glare. So just to go back through the range one more time you can see it. I'm, all I'm doing at this point is you can see the camera move a little bit it's actually making that reflection completely disappear. And hopefully this will help you in your 
photography of your artwork um, when you're building your brochures or putting it together for websites, Facebook and whatnot. Um, this is a cool trick. It's something that some professional photographers use. Um, I paid big money one time to get a print done of mine and, and they didn't use this technique and it was a lot of hard work at the printer trying to get rid of that, that those little sparkles all through the painting. So, um, hope this is a, a good tip for you today and have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye.